a tense football rivalry, an unexpected victory, then an unspeakable tragedy. As a match between Indonesian sides Arima FC and Persebaya Surabaya in the city of Malang drew to a close, Arima's fans, who'd just seen their side lose this fixture for the first time in 23 years, ran onto the pitch. They clashed with police. Players, too, were reportedly attacked. Amid the chaos, police fired tear gas. That, in turn, caused panic, then a stampede in which scores of people were crushed to death. Indonesian authorities have claimed the stadium was over capacity. The police had already taken preventative action before finally firing the tear gas because the supporters were already attacking the police and burning vehicles. After police fired the tear gas, they all ran towards the same direction to exit gate number 10 and 12, causing a massive jam during the jam, shortness of breath occurred because they were running out of oxygen. The death toll already makes it one of the world's most deadly football tragedies. And officials say many more victims are seriously injured in hospital. I regret this tragedy and I hope this is the last football tragedy in this country. A tragedy like this must not happen anymore in the future. Indonesia has seen violence at football matches before, but nothing quite like this. The league is now suspended, a nation is in shock, and soon they will need an explanation for how and why it came to this. Matthew Thompson, Sky News. Pictures from this morning show at least five overturned police vehicles. Some of these vehicles have been set on fire. We will keep you across any developments throughout the day here on Sky Sports News.